A new VPN tunnel drop occurs when a newly deployed tunnel experiences an interruption in basic connectivity that leads to a corresponding break in traffic flow. Connectivity may or may not resume on its own without intervention. This presentation covers causes of new VPN tunnel drops, tunnel drop prevention, and support engagement best practices. To begin, let's review common drivers behind new VPN tunnel drops. Most new VPN tunnel drops stem from misconfiguration problems, negotiation overhead caused by large proposal sizes, or lack of interesting traffic. Let's review strategies that you can employ to prevent new VPN tunnel drops. First, let's locate our VPN tunnel. To proceed, we need to access the OCI console in a web browser. Navigate to the networking section of the console, locate the customer connectivity header, scroll down and click site to site VPN. This brings us to the IPsec connection page. Click the IPsec connection associated with your tunnel, then click the tunnel itself. To begin the actual troubleshooting process, use the tunnel's edit button to expose the tunnel's current configuration settings. Notice the routing type options. The BGP option is well understood. However, ensure you only employ the static option when your CPE employs a dedicated interface that encrypts all traffic that reaches that interface and sends that traffic over the tunnel. This type of CPE configuration is paired with a single any any traffic selector or encryption domain which we assume on our side. Use the policy-based routing option. If your CPE configuration uses one or more CIDR range-based policies to match and encrypt traffic to send over the tunnel. Just note that if you do select the policy-based option, you will need to populate corresponding on-prem CIDR blocks and Oracle's cloud CIDR blocks fields with the same ranges configured right on your CPE. Next, you can match your CPE's own phase one and phase two negotiation settings in the OCI console. To proceed, you would scroll down, click show advanced options, scroll down some more until you see the phase one ISACAMP and phase two IPsec configuration sections. Here, click one of these set custom options checkboxes, then use the associated drop-down fields to match the encryption algorithm, authentication algorithm, and Diffie-Hellman group. Then repeat as needed using the other phases configuration section. Note matching settings in this manner Resolve issues that can occur if you have more than one value passed to the same setting on your CPE. It can also lessen negotiation overhead, which some CPEs may be sensitive to. Now, while you're matching these options, you also want to ensure that the Ike session key lifetime is 28,800 seconds and the IPsec session key lifetime is 3,600 seconds. Note the same lifetime value should be set on your CPE as well. Of course, once you're done, be sure to save your changes. I won't be persisting my changes since this is my demo tunnel. Finally, you want to be sure that interesting traffic routes continuously over your tunnel. If you have a policy-based tunnel with multiple traffic selectors or encryption domain pairs, you may want to ensure the traffic routes between hosts associated with each of those applicable pairs as well. 
If your tunnel drops persist, OCI customer support will be happy to help you optimize tunnel settings for your particular CPE. Prior to engaging with support, please familiarize yourself with the following support engagement best practices. In addition to describing the history of your new tunnel deployment, drop frequency and associated errors, if any, be sure to provide the following information when interacting with support. Your VPN tunnel OSID, your CPE's make, model, and software version, that CPE's phase one and phase two negotiation settings, and your CPE encryption domain or equivalent traffic selector value. Thank you for viewing this video on new VPN tunnel drops. Ensuring your tunnel is properly configured and traffic is always flowing is critical to ensuring stable tunnel connectivity. So take the time to review and implement any applicable changes we discussed and reach out to OCI support if further assistance is needed.